monopolize the objectives in game number two. But given that all they got was a scaling Drake, when they're about playing the early game, getting a gold lead, KT is going to be happy to see another invitation for SKT to want to take it late. They want gold now. They want more kills, and they're back. Yeah, well, the Predator is going to come in. Impale is available, but score just going to be knocked up. Takes oh! out the Lantern forever, and they pick up the kill on the blank. You call the Griffin special. I think they were one up. Killing the Jinnet. Green Wings Nexus. <laughs> they want to do it. They're going to Realm Warp in. They're just going to attack the Nexus. Can they do it, though? The fight man Shockwave. They're trying to keep it alive, but Antara's going to get it in the back. 37 minutes. They get the Step win. That they were one losing. auto attack away from dead as he gets the Mega Nar, Nars them all away, and he's buying some time. Has a Blast Cone to get himself over, and now the Teleport to come in. Is he going to get out? Oh, he does! He does it! <laughs> oh, Smab. Oh, there it is. Oh, what? The auto attack followed him the whole way. Oh, ends up being up. comical stuff, yeah, but it ends up being auto. five kills eventually. Zone Dragon X have never had to qualify through the region qualifiers. Hold the point. You've been just running on in. There's not enough. Oh, oh, no. oh, what the hell was that? The cannon and the barrel. He gets a double kill, essentially by himself. Unbelievable. He's going to get feasted in the end, but King Zone. Spears totally and trying to take this turret. Definitely excellent play. His top side. Okay, Hextech ultimatum, but can he burst down tall first? He's gonna push him away. He's going, He's going deep. He's gonna get it. The health regen is gonna come in. Flashing away, and Blank should be able to get this, but <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Khan hey, gets away. This tankiness is once again ambition. He just does it again. He tries to go in there. He's going to be locked down, but Max is going to be destroyed by Ruler. Corte Day makes it out of there as Re well. This time, Ruler has so much room, but they're going to take out Crown. They're going to win. Pilot in the back line is just mowing them down. A triple kill for this Caitlyn, and they're looking for more. The Quadra, he wants the Penta. Can he get it? He's going to snipe him down. But oh! no, it's not the Penta. Somehow, the most anticlimactic. Non Penta. They're trying. ADD, he's got to go forward. He's got to be the man. There it is. Oh, stop. <laughs> oh, oh, he gets the Penta. Penta there kill. It is. Tactical speed for the slow up. Counter Strike goes in, gets the stun there on Smeb, and he'll flash the wall. But Smeb is actually pursuing. Oh, oh, have the all. Oh, 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 in the middle of the leap strike, Untara gets denied, gets taken down. Smeb flash with a delay. So nice timing there. The synergy between Ambition and QV. Here we go again. These guys with the non-stop action landing that misses the here. The flash over the cube, but BDD is too low. Tom Kent comes in, but he might be a little bit too late. Ignite comes in. Peanut for the flash, but crown. the shield comes in, and in comes Ambition. Peanut will be saved, but Crown with the last second shield saves his own life and gets away bubble with bubble it. Bubble flies through here. Jin Air are going to see what's going on, but it's down so low. Baron just taken. Grace, I think, finds a bubble in there as Umpty starts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see you later, guys. Zaya at 23 minutes, but Hun will live. They're actually just teleporting in melee range to fake that they've started the Baron and looking for a pick. Well, they're going to find the trouble bubble as Cannon Barrage actually just to scout the pit. That's not going to be useful now against Soan, who's even going to get picked off. Sangyu taking a lot of damage here, as there is at least something, but oh, that shockwave only under two members. And Jin Air will need to back away their pirate dead, and Nova the coming from base. Takes down Yukal, but now Def starts off in this fight, and Score is doing so much damage to Sword. Smeb right here in this fight, but remember, Deft is still alive. The Q lands Viper. He's the first to go down as Chovy. Does have to be respected. Deft is able to take him down, though Tarzan falls as well. And that is going to be that KT Rollstar on the back of Deft. They're going to win the fight. The Kaisa, a raid boss just like game one. Does himself safe with the cleanse. The members of Gen G solo. The piercing arrow from Teddy flies straight and true. Finds the hit on the crown and takes him down. TP coming in. So on, looking for a oh! play. And Teddy gets the two for one special. Triple kill in the end going over to him. And Jin Air might have just swung this into their the favor. Smite Rend here. MT though getting low. They might lose their smite in this fight. It's going to be all up to Rend. And see you later. Nidalee is going to be taken out. But the other Drake does go over to Jin Air. But it's mostly just going to be used to take down. But look at this. Teddy in the front line. He's trying to take down member after member. Double kill and the Zack passive is going to be on the cards here. Triple kill given over to Teddy. He's not done yet. The Quadra, he's looking for the Penta. Not going to go for it as they want to push the mid lane. They're looking for the close. I think we're going to game three. 
Teddy was able to do it, and this is going to be his fourth win in a row on the Kalista. He finally gets that extended Penta on Penta Zoe. Gale. It happens. He finally gets it here. Very well Being deserved. In shot, we finally get the confirmation here. Khan is just trying to play halfway down the lane. Gets hit by everything. Doesn't even get hit by everything. I'm trying to predict what happened because of the health bars. But it's an extended trade. It looks like it's all going to be even Ooh. between the two. But actually oh, just gets so hit, good. doesn't flash, and his damage calculation is on. So wow, Khan just completely outplayed in the 1v1 by Keen. A straight A up bit out so of spot. He's not close enough to stop this, I don't think. So much secure. OK, there it is. The piece comes in, and here comes Fem, the five man oh! ultimate. So much damage in the front line. Unbelievable! The Baron goes to Hanwha before kills go to KT, the triple kill for Smev. He came to the front door. Onto both targets doing very respectable damage. Double range also to penalize the lane is mid lane. Yeah, Raze is just going to be working his way in here. Edge pretty low, still going to get the flag and drag there. And no one else going to pursue. You don't often see flash into EQ, but we did see it there. Still was able to register, but level one Orianna isn't going to be too threatening and had taken cleanse. So well, like Cleaver, you can win lane as OGN seems fascinated by this. It was not EQ flash for once, it was flash He EQ. thought he jumped the wall. Ah. They didn't go into the bush. Thanks for that one, OGN. That's hilarious. Oh. Oh. Speaking of clutch, yeah, Yukal is looking kill. for it. The ultimate flies down, gets the blade surge. Another auto is going to be necessary. Grabs it oh. and survives. Yukal with the perfect fly. We're sitting here playing the wave clear game. I feel like Jinnar has almost given up as they're not. They can't do anything without Baron. They're not getting near the turret. Oh, the one shot. Where'd he go? <laughs> well, they can't do anything without Baron. Rocks because they just can't find any sort of fight. Oh, there's a flash in BDD. Wants to start this one off, but the nether grasp is actually going to be canceled. There's a here comes Raven! Oh my god, the triple stun! Massive Keeper's triple kill, quadra kill! Is this gonna be the Penta? He's gonna be delivered at this time! Penta That's kill! Gonna be the first ribbon in three years, Penta kill for oh, Khan! On this one. Elder will be done. The Baron speed not fantastic for Afrika, but not zero this late in the game. Yeah, it's going down pretty damn quickly as there's the teleport in from Tal. Okay, fair bit of damage now as well as he really wants to find this. Where's the rush? There it is, he five members! Good God, the damage from this cannon, instant double kill. He'll be able to get a third now as effort turns up and blank. Can he land this ultimate? Yes, he it's can. It's just gonna be a stopwatch as Rush gonna be the team player in the end, giving some extra kills over to Yukal and over to Smeb. Yukal almost going down actually in the end, pulls key Oh, in. look at the pose. There you go, there it is, finally gets it, kicks Kramer in and the crowd goes wild. He stays alive as well. They're still diving. After all of that, Smev is going to flash out. Play as Tucson comes in with an Abyssal Voyage. Keen in on the backside, looking for score. It's a little bit of damage in onto him, but instead they want Smev. He's going to be the juicier target, the easier one to lock down. That Horizon not quite going to be able to lock him in. He's got that orange to keep himself safe, and Smev, will he make Teleporting. it out of here alive? That Horizon comes oh, down. Oh, it just does. No, Wait, he no. made it out. Are you kidding me, Smev? Didn't get caught by the event horizon. So needs. Oh, that's KT. Ward's coming down, looking for an entry and effort. Might have found it. Pops up to and Ambition. Go! Gonna go ahead, try to get his way out of there. Finger goes in for the taunt. Just as punch connects in. Ambition goes low, and he's gonna die. Watch out. Finger goes golden, but he'll get taken down. But now Bang is into the back, but he's isolated himself. He finishes up one and gets all of them. Triple kill, Bang! Are you kidding me? Insane play from him. He manages oh, a very strong lane. It's not working. It's in the well, middle. Yeah, Riftwalk comes in and Trick just picks it up. The cool.
coolest game of tennis I've seen for a long time, and that's First Blood. That was oh, really... Looking for the Arctic Assault, they're under the turret now as Devour is going to spit out Sword. Oh! It's a lower cooldown, it's... Oh my god, the damage! Onto you, Cal, and Chovy gets out once again. Jeff yes. is excited, flashes, gets the second, into the third, no! Viper! As Viper's popping off in the back line. This is a Kaiser that shouldn't be this strong yet, but he is. He's able to do it, can he get the fourth? Oh, it's so close to the Quadra Kill, and Griffin with the, the god answer is still no. We get the replay here. Fly opens up a big effective health lead by hitting everything at the start, but actually closing the kill after the stasis. It proved impossible. It's about 500 health on Pyrian. Let's watch the burst here. Never move Q ult is the better part so smart. of 1300 damage. He's nice. get taken down, but no! Tarzan's there with the lambs for a spite. They do manage to get the Mercurial Scimitar out of Ruler. He knows that he's the last man standing. He's buying time! He's he buying time! Save it as QB jumps back in. It's an open Nexus and Griffin. They're just going to bomb rush they him. Go. Everyone explodes and teleports into the Griffin base. Gen G. I think they've just done it. They have done it. They're going to win this game 2-0. Insane ending on this oh, one. Oh, Chovy. Chovy's got the flash. Can he do it? Can he actually get oh, over? Crap. He's got the dissonance. Everyone running back in. How many autos can he get? Oh, the three-man shot wave. He, he doesn't kill Ruler, though. That is so important. The headbutt to get him out of the way. Two, one three. More. He dies. And Gen G win the game. You have never seen scenes like this in a competitive game. Front runners for the LCK Spring title. Not much synergy between the two. We caught the back end of this one here. Watch the dodge. <laughs> Faker always. See you later. Faker always on point with those step backs. You think of his famous one on Riven versus Cassiopeia.